Hey guys, my name is Shayla. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I talk about motherhood, I talk about pregnancy. We do things kind of natural, kind of hippie, kind of eco-friendly. If you're into that, please subscribe. If you're not new here, chop chop. Chop my hair off. I'm gonna donate it. It was in a bag in the kitchen and Aaliyah pulled it out and took it out of its ponytail and there was just hair everywhere. Luckily there were four ponytails, so I don't know if that one's donatable or not. Now, now there's just hair everywhere. Also, I think the hair is the culprit of our clogged tub. It does not drain at all. And I'm like, how can it not drain at all? Like 12 hours, it should at least be able to like seep through the hair. So then we started snaking it and poked a hole in our drain downstairs. Like it was already rusty apparently. So this is heavily dry shampooed hair. If you're on Instagram, you can follow me on Hey Shayla. If you listen to podcasts, I have a podcast, Hey Shayla, that talks about all the hippy dippy stuff with all of the gurus of each of their things. And then this sweatshirt, obviously. Two others, one that says Midwest Mama and one that says Grow Good Humans. All adorable. I love them. And if you love them too, heysheila.com slash shop. Today we're going to talk about how to fill your cup as a mom of two. Every time I do a video where I'm like trying to give some sort of advice, the universe humbles me and just is like, girl, you do not have it together. Do not let anyone think that you do. And I'm like, thank you for the reminder because I don't have it together. And it's good for me, actually. It's kind of like therapeutic and helpful for me to be like, what things do I do to fill my cup? And like, what have I found to be helpful? And brainstorming and then asking Instagram what other people do to fill their cup and then getting information like self-care is not the same as me time is not the same as filling your cup. So like, it's all different definitions. I'm gonna start with a ton of examples of ways to fill your cup as a mom of two or a mom of one or a mom of 17. It doesn't matter. These are just ways to fill your cup because what I've learned through asking this question of how do you fill your cup is it's different for literally everybody. And for me, I think there's a lot of pressure around this like self care, like mm, you have to be giving self care. Self care right now with two children looks way different than it did when I didn't have children. And that's okay. I'm gonna be using fill your cup because I don't really like self-care. Self-care feels really like another thing on my to-do list. It feels like another thing that I have to get done. It feels like something that, oh, other moms are doing. I need to make sure that I'm getting enough self-care and, and am I getting enough support to get my own self-care? And it just like creates a bunch of like chaos. So for me, I just think about what fills my cup. That's what I asked on Instagram. And literally some people were like, I need at least one nap that's not a contact nap. And someone else was like, contact naps are self-care for me. I get to like, answer some emails, scroll Instagram, and lay with my baby. This is fantastic. Both are great answers. So I know as a mom, our minds are filled with so many things that sometimes we can't even think about how to fill our cups because we're so busy doing everything else. So I'm gonna go through a list of ideas and my own things that I do for self-care just to give you some ideas, okay? Number one, is taking an extra long shower. We're gonna take something that is a basic need, which is cleanliness and showering, and then just extending it a little bit. We're already in there, we might as well make it a little spa, you know? So you're like, you ask now, we ask to shower, what is this hair on my face? And you say, hey, can I take a shower? Your spouse goes, of course you can shower. And you're like, great, can I take a spa shower? Which means I'm gonna turn the lights down, I'm gonna turn some candles on, or light some candles. Maybe I'm gonna turn some music on. I'm gonna do like a leave-in conditioner treatment, and I'm going to shave my whole body. This video is sponsored by Harry's. You know in high school when you bought all the boys things because it was less expensive, it didn't have the pink tax associated? That's still the case. I was like, isn't this for men? Do you have any women's options? They're like, no girl. Just get what you want. I chose the orange option and this is like their starter kit. Normally $13 with my link, you get it for $5. In a world where everything is expensive right now, this is so nice. I never have used foaming gel before. I use the shaving that have gel on the top and the bottom. Do you know what happens with that? I miss strips of hair. Do you know how I know? Because when I'm outside, I can feel it just waving in the wind. There's like a little mane of hair that's just waving. It's blonde. I just, whatever. I can see exactly where it is and I don't have any missing hair. I know that I'm like really late to the game here. And they're like, other people are charging more for their blades, not because they should, but because they can. We want to make sure that ours, you're not compromising quality when you're getting a more affordable option. I love it. If you want to add this experience to your spa shower, be my guest. Harrys.com slash Shayla. Now I need to figure out how to uh, wipe this off of my hand. The shower thing is like a really good way to like snag a few extra minutes of you time. The biggest part about figuring out what fills your cup is like thinking about what makes you happy. Like 
for me, I love doing crafts with my daughter. I, some moms are not that mom. I am that mom. I love doing puzzles with her. I love like making things with her. Some to pretend play is fine, but then like we keep repeating it over and over and I don't love that. So someone on Instagram was like, when I play things with my daughter that I like, so that fills her cup. Just being aware of the things that make you happy even when you're like, when you're playing with your kids or not. Maybe you don't need to get away from your kids. Some people are like, I need just straight up alone time. Like go lock me in a room alone. Other people are like, I just wanna get outside with my kids. You don't need to get away from your kids. You might need to, you might not need to. It depends on a lot of factors. Are you a extrovert or are you an introvert? Do you work? Do your kids go to daycare? Do they stay at home all day? Do you have help with your partner? Partner. like there's so many factors that all of these things are gonna be up to you so you have to really think when in the last month have I just felt like really good for me it's social events with my kid without my kid I thrive I'm like going in a room where I don't know anybody and I have to like get to know people and ask them tons of questions about themselves and just like oh I love it daycare moms and dads wanted to all meet up and I was like yes this is like my dream I also love meditation so when I am like spinning and spinning and actually losing my mind. I have a Headspace app. I also interviewed somebody on my podcast. She has a podcast called Meditation in Minutes, so it's free meditations. I swear, sometimes Seth will be like, do you need to go meditate? I'll be like, yes, I do. I'll leave for 10 minutes. Sometimes I leave for 20 minutes just so that it's not like, okay, I'm doing this. Okay, I'm meditating. Okay, I'm back. It's like, I'm meditating and now I'm decompressing and now I'm coming down. And I literally like float down the stairs and I'm like, oh, Life is good again. Like I need that meditation piece and I don't realize how much I need it until I do it. And I need to like give myself that more. I meditated in the car the other day. I can't be around if anyone cries or needs me. I just need to go out there for 20 minutes and sit in the car and meditate and then just sit there. I just wanna do nothing. I just wanna sit here and just like veg out. And that's what I did and it was really helpful. <laughs> and if you can identify the things that you need for filling you up, then you can share with your partner and your partner can support you in that. Seth is like a workout guy. He's like a puppy. He needs to work out every single day to like keep his energy up, keep his mood up. He floats in the house after his workout. So like that's something that I try and protect for him. I try and say, okay, let's make sure that you can get your workout in. We're gonna try and make that happen for you. So like I need to figure out how to protect the thing that I need. And in order to do that, what is the thing that needs protecting or create the thing that needs to be protected. I recently had a session with my therapist because I have been spinning in circles just like trying to, I touch my hair so much when it's down, but here we are. I have been spinning in circles trying to figure out how to get this like fill my cup time and I have a complex about being like a domesticated woman. I don't know why because I've really embraced like motherhood and like being a wife and being at home and I've embraced it to enjoy it because otherwise I fight it and I have a terrible day all day. I, I enjoy it and it hurts me inside to say that because I'm like, mm -mm, I'm not domesticated. I do what I want. I like make my own rules. So I asked my therapist, I was like, is cleaning my house like self care and things that fill me up? Does that count? Because I feel like it needs to be a manicure or a pedicure or a spa or like being by myself or like it really makes me happy when my house is clean. It makes my head feel clearer. And she's like, 100%. Anything that makes you feel better is filling your cup, is self-care, is the thing that you need. And I was like, thanks for saying that because I needed to hear that. But like, I also just didn't think it was. <laughs> so if you're in the same boat, it counts. That's what I'm saying is there's so much pressure on making sure that you get this self-care or you fill your cup that sometimes you're like, does cleaning my house count? Does that count as self-care or am I in a trap? Some people said getting their nails done was it. Some people said they needed to do their nails at home. I love having my nails painted. I don't go do them and I try and do them like during nap time, but it's always like a race to the finish to see if you can get it done before nap ends. I actually do not like going to get my nails done because I feel like it takes too long and I just don't enjoy sitting there. Someone said that folding clothes fills their cup. My best friend from college loves folding. She's like, sometimes I'll save a basket for my birthday. I'm like, what? Point proven. Everyone's is different. Some people love that. Some people's cup get filled by working. Some people are like, I love my job. I feel like I've got purpose at my job. Having a paycheck, I love working. Other people are like, I love being at home with my children 24 seven. I love 
teaching them things. I love watching them do something for the first time. I love all of these motherhood moments. And I love that for each of those people individually. Working out might be the thing and it might change. When I work out now, I use Expecting and Empowered, which is pregnancy and postpartum workout app that gives you workouts for each week that you're in. I love it because on the app, it like times it. It's like, okay, do this as many times as you can in six minutes. If the baby wakes up, I have to pause it and go get her. If I'm in a side plank and the baby wants to nurse, sometimes I'm doing a really long side plank or I just start nursing her. Or like Aaliyah has to go to the bathroom in the middle of it. I pause it and go to the bathroom and I don't get upset that that happens. Some people's self care is they need uninterrupted workout time. I just would like to like sweat a little bit. That would be great or stretch and do some yoga. Journaling is a really big one. For a lot of people, they wanna just sit down and journal or read or just not be responsible for anything for a minute. I feel this in my soul. I don't even mind being in the environment, but like when someone has to pee, you go pee them. If someone needs to eat, you go feed them. I don't wanna be the one that has to do it. I'll do it. It'd be really nice to not be the responsible one. And sometimes you have to remove yourself because sometimes we'll be like, no, I don't want daddy to have me go. I want mommy, so then I have to go with her. Some people need to get outside every day. I love this one it's good for everybody. Some people said they just needed a hug from their partner. I love that. Some people said they needed alone time with their partner. I love that. For me, what fills my cup is bedtime with my kids. I love snuggling them. Is it super frustrating sometimes? Yes, but like the moment that they fall asleep and they're just like all snuggled up with me, I'm just like on cloud nine. I absolutely love it. Like I said, some people are like, I want my husband to do bedtime. When Seth does bath time, love it. Some people's is sleep. Some people's self-care is sleep. I need eight hours of sleep. I need to sleep train my kid. I need to put my phone out in the kitchen during bedtime so that I'm not just scrolling the whole time. I'm actually like sitting and sleeping. I'm actually going to sleep and not just wasting time on my phone. This was an interesting one that came through with a few people. They would drive to coffee. So they would pack their kids in the car and they would go drive just to get coffee. Maybe a drive through maybe they'd go in, didn't matter. I love that because you have to get to a certain level of like done upness to leave your house. And I think that's important to do in the day if that makes you feel better. But like to get out of the house, even when I go to drop off Aaliyah on those days, it just feels nice. You like break through that barrier of getting in the house. So then if I need to like go to the grocery store, I'm already ready. And then going along with the social aspect, I don't have to go to a social event. I called a friend the other day and we talked for an hour and a half between screaming children about a lot of things. And it was just nice to just communicate with somebody in real time, not in DMs, not via social media, but like on the phone. So call a friend. Another one of mine is to run the dishwasher every night so that in the morning I can unload it and anything that gets dirty during the day will fit in the dishwasher and I won't have any dishes in my sink. Sometimes I'll just like bake some broccoli and then leave it on the stove and snack on it all day. <laughs> just doing things that make your life easier and more enjoyable that do not have to be a great ordeal that just seamlessly fit into your day. After talking to my therapist, we decided that I need to get my phone. Like I needed a little bit of detachment for my phone. I think I'm a little bit addicted to my phone. I'm embarrassed to admit that. And so the things that we came up with were a 30-day challenge because in my mind I need like a little bit of structure around that just like oh put your phone in the kitchen like okay well, let's do it for 30 days so a 30-day challenge where my phone stays in the kitchen for nap time and bedtime and then overnight but I was like what if a burglar comes to my house and I don't have my phone I can't like walk out there and be like hey just a second and you get my phone so I can call 911 no so we had this watch Seth would use it for workout so I set it up on my phone so that I can have it in the bedroom so I can call if I have to but I can't scroll on Zillow or Instagram or Pinterest or anything, but I feel like it's my safety thing. Then I'm gonna delete Instagram off my phone and put it on like a tablet or an old phone that we have that can only be used on Wi-Fi, can only be used in the house. That way I can do my work when I'm here, but like when I'm at the zoo or wherever I can't like sit on Instagram or scroll mindlessly. Cause when I take it off my phone, I am baffled at the times that I'm like searching for it on my phone. And I'm like, where is it? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I deleted it. And then I'm like, I'm standing in line at Target. Why am I getting on Instagram? I don't even think, oh, I wanna go look at Instagram. I just grab my phone and like autopilot kicks in and I start getting to the app. It's terrifying, honestly. <laughs> that is self care for me because I don't like being on my phone around my kids and it keeps just slipping in there. Those are like some of the examples and I feel like they're so good because they're so simple and so manageable as a mom. They're not like run a marathon, train for a marathon, which if that's your goal, more power to you. But they're very basic, non-intimidating, non-stressful ways to just fill your cup up a little bit. Once you decide what your thing is, so mine is gonna be this 30 day challenge and when it warms up, it's gonna be getting outside and mine is a clean home. I've accepted that for myself. You figure out your things 
and then you figure out what are your circumstances. Do you have a like solid nap time that you can use for these things? On the weekend, can you get four hours to get something done? Or like, what are your circumstances and how can you fit this in? And how can you get your partner to support you on this? Or how can you get somebody around you to support you on this? And that's how you figure out how to get this in. And can you do it with kids? You do your, your morning Starbucks run with the kids in the car. Fine, do your workout. Can you do it with the kids? It's not as enjoyable, but can you make it happen? Doing it around your kids so that they get used to it so that it's easier for you to do. I hope this video was helpful to at least give you some ideas of ways that you can fill your cup because like I said, sometimes when your cup is so empty, you can't even think about the things that are gonna help you fill it back up. I hope this gave you some good ideas. If you're interested in a new razor that's $5, check out Harry's. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you, bye.